Guys, I'm going to do a war recap today, and this was another win for the home team, which is always good to see, and this was another pretty solid war. Um, sometimes we win just by the skin of our teeth, um, but this one was pretty solid. So first, I'll just go over one of my attacks, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, it was me attacking a town all 10, and... At first glance, I one-started this base, and I should be happy about that, but I was actually a little um, unhappy because I'll explain why in a moment. But I came from the top here because I already knew that there was a hound in the clan castle, and obviously the queen's down at the bottom. So first step is take out this first air defense. Next, I lightning this um, air defense over on the left. Um, but that's after I drop my dragons because I want the dragons to get the effect of that rage spell um, No matter how short-lived it is So two lightnings and a quake takes out that air defense Doesn't matter level six lightnings or level seven uh, If there are level seven, I think there is level seven for um, Town Hall 10 but at this point, after I dropped this rage pill, luckily I did drop drop the rage pill before it happened. But at this point, I get that little rectangular uh, notification window that says connection lost, and my heart just drops because I I mean obviously I wanted the war loot. I didn't want to fail on this base because um, in my clan castle I have a golem and my king and queen just to clean up the fifty percent. But as I reboot the game, it shows me the outcome. Well, my clan mates are still watching the raid, so I don't know how that happened. Um, but I told them that I actually got it, and they were they were super excited for me as they are watching this unfold. Um, so I don't really know how that works, how I was able to see the outcome before they were, but um, luckily I was. Didn't really matter anyway, but... Um, so I end up... Getting the 50% with just my dragons. But uh, that second Tesla right here will pop pretty soon. And if you look at the base, I'm not sure. I might have been able to two-star it. It's it's definitely hard to say, but um, the Inferno Tower's range is the only thing that could hit me. So I would have quite... I think I would have quite a few streams on my queen. But if I popped her ability, um, if I didn't have to use her ability on these Teslas... She might have picked off the town hall, but um, either way, it was a pretty solid two star because I got it with a pretty solid one star, that is, because I got it with just dragons. So um, that was a pretty fun attack. Definitely recommend that strategy if you guys are pushing at a um, high level or something. And I'm sure most of you are already using it if you're pushing at a high level as town hall nine. Um, I might actually bring uh, this. Holiday season, I might actually push pretty high, um, and I'll definitely bring out that strategy, because, as you can see, it's pretty powerful. Um, but I'll probably show my, well, probably I am. Um, I'm showing my, my daily, or my, the usual, my, my, um, every video Michael raid. Michael is just a beast, he always tears it up, um, three stars, really consistently just has those beefy heroes does a very um consistent deployment is very patient with its hogs and yeah can't complain about his attacks they're so consistent so he's just going in with that um go vaho drops the heal for those velks because um there are many things but they are also a tank for the hogs because as you can see a lot of the defenses are targeting the core um, all the troops in the core rather than the hogs and that's great because he only has one heal Which he should be dropping around this location probably um, Because that's where all of his hogs are kind of converging So he has his king up Use the ability on the king so the king might actually go down here or just have a sliver of health um, But all those hogs are standing in that heal until the very end and even has a couple of valks live the entire time and has a queen at full health so I just wrecked that base not necessarily the greatest base design but um still a great attack so yeah good attack by michael and let's scroll on down i think this one is by michael also 
And then, this will actually be the last raid of the video. This is, um, the three star on number 10 was just a kind of brute force go wipe because it was such a lower level base. Um, but I was mainly proud about our Town Hall 10s this war. They did a really good job, except for that one base that they left for me. Um, and I was pretty happy with how I handled that base, too. So he goes in, I think, maybe even four golems? Yeah, it looks like four golems. Four golems, four witches, six hogs. Kind of a crazy, crazy strategy. Um, so he drops his king up top, and it looks like his queen is going to go up top as well. But luckily the queen swings down onto this altar here and then gets aggroed by this queen. And then he spreads out his um, witches so that they kind of split as well. So this is perfect. He has an exact identical split. Um, well, maybe not exactly, but he has an identical spit, split so that the troops can just sweep through the base and then converge um, in this compartment where he'll drop his hogs. So that's a perfect attack strategy by Michael. Um, he drops a rage on the top to help accelerate the king because the queen definitely does a little more damage than the king. And, um, yeah, so there's no golems to help tank for the queen right here, but there's really not a whole lot of damage coming at her. And any damage that is going on is being soaked up by these skeletons. So he drops another rage here, maybe a little early because the king doesn't walk into it for a couple seconds. But um, hogs under rage are actually really powerful, so it was good that the hogs got a little bit of the benefit of their rage. And so he drops the hogs maybe a little early because they do get taken out by these uh, Teslas pretty quickly. But as I fast forward here, the king, queen, and witches are definitely going to do some work. And um, even though the king chooses to pick the highest level wall in the game or on this base there is um he still gets a three star so good job by michael and this was a little bit of a shorter recap but that is okay um so yeah good job to our guys and good job to the warlords you guys put up a fight and thanks guys for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and if you haven't subscribed Make sure to do that because I try to put out um, consistent content and make sure to have a good day for me.